Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys that have purchased my eBay item how to get started with it. Um, I know a lot of you have figured it out on your own, but I figured I would just make this video just to make it that much easier for you guys to get started and on your way be to becoming Cisco certified. So first thing first, when you get this, you're gonna, you'll get a series of downloads if you choose to download it, or you will get a series of DVDs if you chose to physically have it sent to you. So the main disc that you will need to start off with is the miscellaneous disc or the miscellaneous download because it contains the CUCM Unity Cisco Unified Presence it, it contains the instructions for each of those uh, applications and it also for you guys that are doing the EXI version it also contains the vSphere hypervisor and the vSphere client now this is free on VMware's website so if you wanted to you can download the newer version if there is one or you can just use this version and it'll work just fine alright so first things first like I said you need to first install this hypervisor on your EXI box and if you guys purchase an HP server or a Dell server or a Lenovo server you may be able to go on their website and they may have like a custom VMware image for you to download instead of using the generic version of the hypervisor but either 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 way um, whether you're using this one this is pretty much just the plain Jane the vanilla version of the hypervisor or like I said if you have an HP or Lenovo you can actually go to their website and if the box is VMware EXI compliant they probably have a custom image that already have the drivers for that so this part has already been done the next thing you're gonna do is actually install the client on your host PC um, I'm using I'll be using uh, Windows 7 but this will work with any version of Windows Macs uh, whatever you are using this is what you'll install on the PC that you're gonna be doing the configurations on so I've already done that um, just wanted to talk through it with you just in case you're unfamiliar with how this whole deal works alright so and that's this guy right here I already have it open alright once you get the files you'll have to extract them using the WinRAW extractor or Win7 um, my programs do come with the WinRAW extractor but you can use other uh, extractor programs so once that happens you will need to open an OVA or OVL file whichever you want to use um, my files are in .ova format uh, some other files VMware uses are in .ovl format so and it's not hard at all as you see I have several of the applications already installed but I took out Windows 2008 server on purpose just so I can run through that briefly with you so what you do is just go to file deploy OVF template and once you have extracted the files they will all be in .ova format so all you simply have to do is browse to where you save that OVA file at uh, I like to I'm kind of a neat freak when it comes to stuff like this I like to separate each and everything with a, its own folder like my publisher has its own folder my subscriber has its own folder unity has its own folder and so forth so what I would need to do is go back exxi when a 2008 server and you see ccnp dc dot ova this is what we want you see the size is 3.65 gigabytes so once you extract them they will become one huge file so we're just gonna click on open click next and most of this can use the just the standard settings you don't have to do a lot of configuring you can name it what you want like I can name it in 2008 server hit next uh, I like to do the thin provisioning because it will not use the whole chunk of hard drive space that you have allocated it will gradually increase as needed so I like to do the thin provision hit next and it's safe to go ahead and power on after deployment click on finish 
and I just chose Windows 2008 server because it's uh, smaller than your publisher subscriber and it generally doesn't take a very long time to do it but even still as you see it's actually deploying the disk right now I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause because it will take a couple minutes all right we're back and it is just now about to finish up so again what we are doing is copying the Windows 2008 server over onto our EXXI box and basically what that is going to give us the ability to have is an Active Directory um, you're going to be able to create your users in Active Directory so that the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, the Unity Connection, uh, Cisco Unified Presence can actually pull that information from Active Directory to give you some hands-on experience with that okay and like I said it is just about finished and once it's finished I have checked the box to let it go ahead and power up and we'll go over to the console so we can actually see that happen And there it is guys um, I'm gonna do more videos in the very near future if you guys have suggestions please feel free to like comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts and let me know some ideas of videos that you would like for me to do uh, until then you guys take care and see you later